Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you and your friends or family members keep track of each other's whereabouts using the Find My app? But what if you don't want to reveal your actual position? Then you will need to fake the location of your iPhone. In this video, I'll show you how you can spoof your location so that Find My will think that you're somewhere else. Let's go! Find My is one of Apple's pre-installed apps that enables the users to keep track of their paired devices. Another good thing about this app is that it can also be used to share location with your friends or family members. However, this feature may come as too invasive, especially on days that you want to keep your whereabouts private for personal reasons. So, if you want to stay out of the map for a while, you can choose to disable the location sharing on the Find My app. To do this, open the app and click on the Me tab. Then make sure to switch off the Share My Location toggle. After that, Find My should now be unable to keep track of your location. However, by disabling the location sharing function on Find My, you are technically announcing that you're off the grid and do not wish to be located. If you don't want to be too obvious and still appear active on Find My without anyone knowing that you're not where you claim you are, then you will have to spoof your location with the help of a software. By faking your location, you can keep your privacy and no one within your circle will be notified that you're off the grid. Unfortunately, on normal iPhones that don't have a jailbreak, you can't just install an app to change your location. This is because the apps you have downloaded from App Store don't have that capacity. Aside from that, I don't recommend making a jailbreak if you're just testing it out. In worst case scenario, it may just cause harm to your device. Without a jailbreak, you will need to use a computer and install a program in order to change your location. There are several programs that you can use. I personally like iMyPhone's NE2 and Tenorshare's iNeGo, which works both on Windows and Mac. If you want to know more about each program, you can check out the links in the description below. In this video, I'll go more into detail how iMyPhone's NE2 works, but the application from Tenorshare functions mostly in the same way as well. With iMyPhone NE2, you can spoof a location and your location-based apps like Google Maps, Snapchat, or WhatsApp will inherit the fake location. You can try it with restricted access for free, or you can purchase a plan to have unlimited use of the features. Choose your plan by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or check out the link in the description below. Now, let's start setting up your iMyPhone NE2. First, choose your operating system, then download and install it on your computer. Afterwards, launch the program and click Get Started. Next, connect your iPhone using an original or an MFI certified cable to ensure that there will be no problem with the transfer of data. If this is your first time connecting to the program, you have to confirm that you trust this computer when prompted on your iPhone and provide your passcode when required. The next time you connect to iMyPhone NE2, you can directly choose your device just like in my case here. You can either choose to connect via Wi-Fi or cable. I will choose cable connection because it is much stable and reliable. When you connect your iPhone to the software, make sure to keep your device unlocked and keep the screen from turning off. To ensure your phone screen stays on, go to Settings, tap on Display and Brightness, and select Auto Lock. Then set the configuration to Never. Once a connection is established, your iMyPhone NE2's dashboard should load the map. On the top right corner, you will see four different modes on which you can use to change location. These are the Joystick Mode, Two-Spot Mode, Multi-Spot Mode, and Teleport Mode. I'll explain how to spoof your location using these different modes in a while. As I have mentioned earlier, iMyPhone NE2 offers a trial version, but it comes with restricted access. Here, you will see which features are available in the trial version and which ones are not. Now, let's start faking your location on Find My App using the different modes. First is the Teleport mode. This mode is already enabled after the initial load of the dashboard. This will allow you to move to a certain location instantly. To select a destination, you can use the search bar and type in a location's name or coordinates, or more effectively, click directly on the map to pin a spot. 
Then click on the Move button at the bottom of the sidebar panel to change your current location to the selected destination. Afterwards, you should be able to see that your location on Find My has automatically switched to your selected destination, like in my case here. If you're using the software on trial, please note that you will be allowed to teleport to a location for five times only. Aside from teleporting to a specific location, iMyPhone NE2 also allows creating a route so that you can simulate a realistic movement. To do this, you can select either the two-spot mode or the multi-spot mode. Under two-spot mode, you are allowed to move from your current location to a selected destination. After searching for a location, customize your movement by setting up the available configurations in the sidebar panel. If your customized route is all set up, click the Move button to start simulating the movement. Now, you can see that my location pointer on the Find My app is also moving along the created route. On the other hand, if you enable multi-spot mode, you can create a route with multiple locations. As I have mentioned earlier, you can select a location either by using the search bar or by clicking on the map directly and pin a spot. Every search location will be added to the sidebar panel accordingly. Then you will see the same functions in the sidebar panel like when on two-spot mode. The only difference is that you can exclude some locations by clicking on the close button. You will notice that my location on Find My is simulating the movement as well. But keep in mind that it will not use the roads like when on two-spot mode anymore. Instead, it will go along the exact path you set. What I have shown you are just the basic steps, but there is more to iMyPhone NE2's different modes. So if you want to know how each mode works in detail, you may watch my video linked in the description below. Whenever you want to return to your original location, click on the Reset Location button at the lower right corner of the dashboard. However, there might be some instances that this function will not automatically revert location changes on your iPhone. If this is the case, you will have to restart your device to ensure that its location will revert to its original state. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.